I'm Karen Critch Barnett with ERA Advantage Realty. I thank you, the viewers, for voting me WBVA Viewers Choice Best Real Estate Agent for 2017. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home, call me. I will prove to you why I should be your choice. WBVA is here for you in Bluefield, West Virginia. This is WVBA News, here for you, live in HD. WVBA News at 6 starts now. Mining is a dangerous job, but some miners are learning safety techniques this week. We'll have details. The Greenbrier County Board of Education has unveiled renderings of the new elementary school for Rupert. We have a first look. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Rick Douglas. High stakes, high pressure underground rescue operations are underway this week in Beaver. But it's not a real emergency. It's practice. Miners from all over the U.S. are in town for the National Mine Rescue First Aid Bench and Pre-Shift Competition at the National Mine Safety and Health Administration in Beaver. Tonight, our Annie Moore takes us there. Miners in the pre-shift competition look to identify potential problems at the Mine Safety and Health Administration in Beaver. The examiner comes out, he has a certain area of the coal mines, or simulated coal mines, that he has to examine looking for hazards, correcting those hazards, and dangering off any hazards that he does find. Earlier this week, miners participated in the bench competition, where miners raced to fix their breathing equipment in a limited amount of time. And they put predetermined bugs in it or problems with the breathing apparatus, and it's up to the benchman to, to find those problems, correct them. How important is it to have that relationship with these other miners in an emergency? These, these teams, it's very important. You're in an actual event, things are hectic, people, their heart rates are high, they're, they're and, and, uh, uh, very confused, they don't know what's going on. And if they do have a real emergency, it's just not one team that goes. They may come from all over the country when we have a disaster at a mine. Inspectors use examples from recent mine fatalities as an example. They get to know each other, and that speeds that process up in the actual event when things is on the line and things have to move fast. Putting miners to the test, all to save lives later. Here for you in Beaver, I'm Annie Moore, WVVA News. The competition wraps up tonight with an award ceremony at the Raleigh County Convention Center in Beckley. An off-duty Mercer County Sheriff's deputy foiled an alleged armed robbery thanks to some quick thinking. Corporal A.M. Ballard was pumping gas near Lorona when he noticed a suspicious vehicle parked near the woods next to Dollar General. His suspicions eventually led to the arrest of three people who allegedly robbed the Dollar General in Green Valley Tuesday and the Little General on Athens Road on Monday, according to the Sheriff's Office. 25-year-old Angel Gutierrez of Chesterfield, Virginia, was charged with attempt to commit a felony, first-degree robbery, and two counts of conspiracy. Michelle Lynn Bailey is charged with conspiracy. Thomas Edward Springfield, the driver of the car, faces DUI charges. To read the many twists to this story, and there are many, visit our website, wvva.com. This morning, a Fayette County grand jury indicted three men on murder charges stemming from two separate murders in Montgomery. George Eddie Brockman of Huntington and Cedric Elwin Coping of Montgomery were bound over for the killing of Lewis Jackson in November 2016. James Whitlock of Powelton was indicted for the shooting death of Clark William Lee Jake Hartwell in the parking lot of a 7-Eleven in October of 2016. The grand jury indicted more than 50 people. The majority of those indictments were drug-related. Within a few weeks, we should know if Eric Campbell will go to trial for allegedly shooting two Lewisburg police officers on New Year's 2015. That's according to Greenbrier County's prosecuting attorney, Patrick Villa. This afternoon, Villa said that a Greenbrier County trial could happen, and he will decide after meeting with Lewisburg police and other agencies. On Wednesday, a North Carolina jury recommended a life sentence for the killing of two elderly people during a crime spree spanning from Texas to Lewisburg with the man's father. A car wreck in Smith County resulted in a church going up in flames. The accident happened this morning at the Pew Mountain Free Will Baptist Church. Witnesses say the driver lost control at a curve in the road and then ran straight through the doors of the sanctuary. It is unclear what caused the fire to start. When neighbors told the driver they were calling police, he immediately ran away. So far, officials have not released the name of the suspect. Members of Pew Mountain say they are unsure what's going to happen next. They will, however, hold Sunday services at the American Legion on Highway 11 this weekend. 
West Virginia State Police will be out in force this weekend ensuring safe travels. Troopers will be conducting a sobriety checkpoint on Route 219 in the Fairley area of Greenbrier County. The sobriety checkpoint will run from 8 p.m. Friday until 2 a.m. Saturday. State Police tell us the purpose of the checkpoint is to detect and deter impaired drivers. Chief Meteorologist Travis Roberts is standing by in the Forecast Center, and it was uh, kind of wet out there today, Travis. A few showers around, Rick, that's right. And uh, as we move through the evening hours, though, we're going to see the drying trend that we've been seeing over the last couple of hours continue as we look at our temp temperatures right now. 63 is where we're setting in Bluefield, 64 now in Beckley. Interesting, uh, we've actually seen our temperatures rise over the last couple of hours. Beckley ticking up a little bit, a little bit of a breeze out of the west-northwest right now in Bluefield. We're also seeing a bit of a breeze right now in Beckley, west-southwest at about 7 miles per hour. As we move through the evening hours, the rain shower coverage again, as I said, will continue to decrease. We're seeing them show up on the radar right now. Just a slight chance of a shower overnight as most of this continues to move off to the east. But overall, again, we start to dry out. You can see some breaks in the clouds there from our Bluefield Sky Cam from Princeton Community Hospital. Not a bad evening and uh, temperatures dropping into the 50s later tonight. There could be some fog too a little bit later. It could be dense in a few spots, but your weekend's looking fantastic. And we're tra tracking a tropical system too. More on that coming up, Rick. All right. Thanks, Travis. To get more insight into yesterday's earthquake, we spoke with Joe Allen, professor of geology at Concord University. Professor Allen says the earthquake was likely caused by old faults fracturing. These ancient faults appeared when the African tectonic plate collided with the North American one some 300 million years ago. The collision forced up the Earth's surface in between to form the Appalachian Mountains. This time around, Allen says a tremendous amount of energy was released. Uh, the amount of energy in a magnitude 3.1 earthquake uh, that's underground that's released along the fault is about the equivalent of a Hiroshima atomic bomb. It's not all released at a point, it's along the fault and all that energy goes into heating up the fault plane and creating fractures and breaking the fault. The fault already exists and this is just re-rupturing the fault where it's cemented back together. And uh, for comparison, that seems like a lot of energy, but only a small amount of that is radiated out as the seismic waves that we feel. Professor Allen also says that California earthquakes dampen quickly while waves from eastern U.S. earthquakes travel farther due to the bedrock and soil found here. Well, thanks to last year's floods, Rupert will be getting a new elementary school. As WVVA's Austin Davis tells us now, as far as the community is concerned, the news is almost too good to be true. The Greenbrier County Board of Education has unveiled renderings of the new elementary school in Rupert, giving the community a sense that the new school is right around the corner. Uh, the parents and the community members were able to view that plan. Uh, we're very excited about it. It's now becoming all kind of more real to them now. The new Rupert Elementary School is going right here, right next to the Western Greenbrier Middle School, and there's a sense of hope and excitement in the air. We're very excited to be able to see what is going to come to fruition after quite a while of maybe 14 months of when the flood hit to now when we will have renderings of a new school and everybody seemed very excited. And everything looks to be right on schedule. We're on track uh, as far as the timeline. We'll be um, doing pre-bid soon and also accepting bids. So our hope is that we will break ground in November. Although there's history at the old school, residents have time to move, move on. When we found out there were money from the school building authority. It, it was tears of joy. Uh, there's been nothing but positive support. I have not heard, believe it or not, any negative from leaving the old school behind and going to a new school. There are a lot of memories here and a lot of history here, but I believe everybody's excited and, and want the kids to be safe and enclosed in one building. Here for you in Rupert, Austin Davis, WBVA News. Now, Austin says the best case scenario is for the school to be completed in about a year, but Greenbrier County officially is anticipating maybe 16 to 18 months with an opening date in the winter of 2019. Today, Governor Justice submitted his retirement as head coach of the Greenbrier East boys basketball team. The governor has led the program since 2010. He released a statement tonight that reads in part, First and foremost, beyond any doubt, my chief responsibility is to serve the people of West Virginia as their elected governor. That said, I will surely miss coaching and mentoring all of these fine young men. The governor will remain the head coach of the Lady Spartans basketball program, however. 
Day two of the Bluefield Colt Show is filled with metal, steel, and high spirits. The Brush Fork Armory is wall-to-wall -wall with vendors displaying their newest equipment to dig for coal and optimism toward the industry's future for good reason. The latest statistics show that coal is making a comeback. An industry survey found that coal is at 30 percent, ahead of natural gas at 29 percent, as the largest fuel source for the electric grid. Vendors at the coal show say they are seizing the opportunity to network. It helps our business, and it's good to see customers, you know, in a different setting. When you go to a coal mine to sell to somebody, they're usually busy and they got a lot of things on their mind, but here they're more, more relaxed and we're able to show them new products and everything that we have a lot easier. The Coal Show wraps up tomorrow and returns in two years. An initiative aimed at reversing the economic ills of Appalachia was unveiled and quickly gained support from senators from both Virginias. Joe Manchin and Mark Warner favor a proposed 19-point measure to boost the region's economy. The proposed measures include expanding broadband and educational opportunities, investing in highways, and advancing manufacturing. The Bipartisan Policy Center says it would help end the region's high unemployment rate, increase educational opportunities, and improve public health in an area deemed the unhealthiest in the country. The Princeton Library has just revealed its first ever story walk in Princeton City Park to kick off the fall season for both kids and families. The story walk, located on the playground to the right when you enter the park, features pages of an interactive book along the walkway. Representatives from the library say the idea is perfect for this time of year. It, it's not just early literacy skills or, or just family time you're getting together. You're getting outside to do these things. So people don't think, well, the park stops when the pool closes. No, you can always get outside and enjoy the park. There's never a bad time to enjoy a book inside or outside, picture book or otherwise. The story walk will be on display until the end of November, and a new one will return in the spring. The Princeton Library says the story walk idea began at a library in Vermont. Coming up next, area agencies are stepping up their outreach after Hurricane Harvey and Irma slammed into the Deep South. Coming up, we tell you how two agencies are advising people to be prepared. Grant's Supermarket, 16 locations to serve you. Check out Grant's weekly specials on your mobile device or online. Shop online at grants.com. No credit refused and no offer refused. Now through Saturday at Shul Furniture. Pick out the mattress you want and name your price. Any reasonable offer will be considered. Choose free next day delivery or bed frame. Get free removal of your old mattress. Plus Shul's 30-day price guarantee and mattress comfort assurance. Plus, your credit is good. Bad credit, no credit, discharge bankruptcy, you won't be turned down. With guaranteed low monthly payments. Now through Saturday only at Shul. Saving you money every day. In a Bachelor exclusive. I needed it now, and I couldn't stop until it was gone. This Bachelorette is revealing the multiple addictions she hid from show producers and the world. You're gonna get caught. What is wrong with you? Then, would you glitter bomb your... Sounds like a bad idea to you. Sounds like a good idea to you. So let's determine what it really is. Boss, a child is born in the car. But the craziness didn't end there. New Doctors. Tomorrow at 3 on WVVA. WPBA is proud to announce Princeton Community Hospital as your SkyCam sponsor for all our newscasts. WPBA, always here for you. Over the last month, our nation has been hit hard with natural disasters. And now Hurricane Irma has come down on Florida. We here at WBBA are partnered once again with the Red Cross to raise money for those in need. We'll be at several locations in the next few weeks to take up your monetary donations. So stop by and give what you can or go online to donate now. Florida needs help and you have the power to make a difference. Survivors of Hurricane Irma need our help. So go to the website on your screen and donate today. Because anything you give will go a long way to help those in need.
September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and today students of North Tazewell Elementary School show that they were in full support of raising awareness. Students and teachers walked from the school's cafeteria to the Clinch Valley Community Action parking lot. Along the way, parents and community members clapped and cheered the students on. The parade honored two students, both of whom defeated cancer. It wasn't only the school that took part in the campaign. All across town, people were out showing their yellow shirts. To highlight National Emergency Preparedness Month, the Raleigh County Commission on Aging is teaming up with the local 911 center to deliver more than 150 shelf-stable meals to seniors in need. Last year, they delivered emergency kits to more than 100 seniors in Raleigh County, and this year, they'll also have kits on hand at the Commission on Aging for seniors who need them. Well, for seniors especially, we try to make sure that they have food because a lot of our seniors have no one else to look after them. We, we are the only ones that usually have any kind of contact with a lot of our seniors that get our home delivered meals. The Beckley Area Foundation also participated in helping seniors get ready in the event of an emergency. The Greenbrier County Homeland Security and Emergency Management will be holding a preparedness fair. It's happening Saturday at the Blue Ribbon Center at the West Virginia State Fairgrounds in Fairley. It is the first of two preparedness fairs to be held in Greenbrier County. They are being held in conjunction with National Preparedness Month. Given what's occurred over the past few months, and I mean all those hurricanes, it's always good to stay on top of everything. Be prepared. You know, as we're seeing day in and day out, that we never know what's going to happen. But I never thought we'd have seen back to back major hurricanes like we have. Uh, what we never know yet is snowstorms, power outages, flooding. Now, the Preparedness Fair in Fairley runs from 10 a.m. until 3 p.m. this Saturday. But if you can't make it on Saturday, there will be another fair at the Raynell Armory a week later on September 23rd. Well, Travis is back up next with a complete look at your forecast, so stay right where you are. I am Romy Kaywood, the MRI supervisor here at Bluefield Regional Medical Center. I have been a registered MRI technologist for 17 years. Our MRI facility is accredited by the American College of Radiology, and all of our staff is MRI registered. It is the only high field 1.5 Tesla open MRI scanner in the immediate area. We are able to provide excellent image quality, more patient comfort by using an ergonomic table design and accommodate larger patients with a weight limit of up to 500 pounds. I am Dr. Miller, a board certified radiologist with more than 25 years of experience in MRI. Here at BRMC, we are fortunate to have highly skilled, trained, kind, and competent staff. For more information, visit bluefieldregional.net. When I got into my accident, I broke almost every bone in both my legs. Because I don't have the average body type anymore, I feel like my temper really conforms to my body shape. Power is not giving up. It's choosing to thrive. temper sleep is power. Power up and save up to $500 on select tempur adjustable sets. Plus, get 0% financing for 72 months. Now at Grand Home Furnishings. The WBBA Financial Report is brought to you by MCNB Bank's Trust and Financial Services Division. We're community-minded, just like you. I'm Ed Gillespie, candidate for governor, and I sponsored this ad. A Washington Post columnist called Virginia's Economic Development Agency badly mismanaged and open to fraud. Lieutenant Governor Ralph Northam's part of the problem. He skipped 58% of the agency's meetings, and they gave $1.4 million to a Chinese company with a fake website. A total scam. Taxpayers lost everything. Ralph Northam didn't do his job. He doesn't deserve a promotion. For exceptional ear, nose, and throat care, contact Mercer Medical Group ENT. Now located on the third floor of PCH's Parkview Center.
Well, welcome back, folks. We have a fairly quiet weather forecast heading into the weekend. A few clouds out there tonight. We're not losing the clouds. We're losing the sunlight. This is the visible satellite imagery. You can see just a few scattered showers around the area tonight. High pressure will start to strengthen as we move through the next couple of days and really dry us out for the weekend. Just a few scattered showers possible. But tonight we're watching Tropical Storm Jose now expected to move just to the west and northwest and then curve to the north, becoming eventually a category one hurricane. That's the forecast still a fairly weak storm. But look how that cone of uncertainty gets pretty close to the outer banks. If you have interest along the coast of the Carolinas, you want to pay attention to that. And certainly, even if the storm doesn't move ashore, we're going to see some high surf along the beaches. Temperatures outside tonight in the 60s. Greg and Mullins at 67. We're 63 at the airport in Bluefield. You go down into Bluefield, Virginia, a little warmer at 66. To the north and east here, Dave says it's a little cloudy in Union, 65, and some showers all around the area tonight. Not everybody's seeing them right now. We're at 64 in Beckley. Future cast keeps us mostly cloudy tonight. An isolated shower possible. There could be some patchy fog late. Heading into your Friday, we're expecting a mix of sun and clouds. But look how the future cast getting pretty aggressive on the scattered showers into the afternoon. Again, I don't think we're completely 100% dry. But the chances of seeing rain fairly low tomorrow heading into Saturday, more of the same kind of a few scattered showers into the afternoon, but all in all, really not too bad of a weekend. 40% chance of the showers tonight. Otherwise, mostly cloudy with lows in the 50s for your Friday. We're expecting a mix of sun and clouds, more clouds, especially in the morning hours, and then we'll see a few pop up showers with highs in the 70s. Well, the good news is with the wet weather, we are seeing lower pollen counts, so those are in pretty good shape for now. Heading into the weekend, they may start to climb as we dry out in your seven day forecast. Not only will we dry out, we're going to warm up too into the upper 70s, close to 80 on Saturday and Sunday. And in fact, we may be above normal for the first time in quite some time. And then a few showers on Monday, Rick. All right. Thanks, Travis. Concord looks to get its first win tonight as UVA Wise comes to town. AJ joins us live from Athens next in sports. The passing. The punting, the tackling, the touchdown. It's who we are as a player, as a team, as a school. And when we fall, we get back up and come back even stronger. We give everything we have to come out on top. WVBA's Game of the Week, Fridays at 6 p.m. with A.J. Good. Game of the Week is brought to you by Ramey Auto Group. At State Equipment, see the new Kubota BX1880 18-horsepower diesel tractor with 54-inch cut. Zero down, 0% zero for 72 months, all for only $150 per month. Kubota performance and versatility at its best. The Kubota L2501DT combines robust performance and user-friendly features in one easy-to-operate compact tractor. Zero down, 0% zero for 72 months for only $251.39 per month, including Kubota front loader. Try one out today at State Equipment. Summer's winding down, but at Ramey Toyota, the deals have never been hotter. Come see the new 2018 CHR with rates as low as 1.9% on 60 months. Check out the new sporty 2018 Camry with rates as low as 0.9 for 60 months. And remember, we also have 0% for 72 months on many 2017 popular models. Start your deal your way at RameyToyota.com. So end your summer with a bang at Ramey Toyota in Princeton, where we always do your deal your way. All month long, select Good Neighbor Pharmacy brand products are buy one, get the second for one cent. Good Neighbor Pharmacy brand products offer affordable, high-quality alternatives with the same active ingredients found in the name brand products. It's the same exact ingredient. Visit mygnp.com slash one cent sale to find a participating Good Neighbor Pharmacy near you. Get to know your neighbor. Visit Four Seasons Pharmacy, Goody Coons Drugstore, or Old Virginia Pharmacy. The road that follows surgery, it doesn't have to be long and doesn't need to be painful or leave large scars. It charts its course from a place where minimally invasive surgery represents the standard of care. A place where a team of surgical experts can put you on a fast track to active living after surgery. The road begins here. The Institute for Minimally Invasive Surgery at Cabell Huntington Hospital, where small incisions are the best decision.
Well, welcome back to Time for Sports. I'm here live at Callahan Stadium, the site of tonight's Mountain East Conference showdown between UVA Wise and Concord. The Cavaliers will come into this game at 2-0 on the season, while the Mountain Lions have struggled so far to get the start off the 2017 year at 0-2 with losses to West Virginia Wesleyan and last week at the University of Charleston, both Thursday night games. These two are rivals and certainly should make for a very interesting contest tonight. Kickoff is slated for 7 o'clock. Now we head into tonight's Thursday conversation, and tonight's subject is Blue Field senior Mookie Collier. Not only is he quite the character, quite the player, both on the gridiron and on the hardwood, he is quite the he is quite a very good student. He's predicted to be their valedictorian, and he's pretty good at life as well. All right, Mookie, who's your favorite superhero? Uh, I would probably have to say the Hulk because just like I don't know, just see him transforming into something like that is just just crazy. So that's what I I say the Hulk say. All right, what's your favorite food? Probably would have to say chicken, sir, because you know my mom, my mom working at KFC, she always used like just, like make chicken and brought chicken home. So since I was growing up, I really loved chicken, sir. What's your what's your dream trip? Where would you want to go anywhere in the world? I would say like somewhere. I want to go to California, sir, because you know I've saw a number of pictures and stuff of California, how beautiful it is, and I was just thinking, you know, hopefully when I get older and I have the money to afford it, and I can maybe make a trip out there, sir. What's your favorite movie? Either Greater or When a Game Stands Tall. Just knowing that, you know, on Greater, it was a, it's a Christian athlete movie and how he, you know, kind of like overcome some of the things he had in life. And plus, like, you know, he wanted to go to Arkansas, but he had to offer from Arkansas State and just, you know, he just worked hard to get a scholarship. And next thing you know, he earned a scholarship, was All-American, and was like in the first round draft pick and got drafted to the coast, sir. What's your favorite TV show? I would probably have to say either One Tree Hill or uh, 90210. One, like, I have a couple, but just thinking, one of, probably one of those two, because, like, you know, it's just like drama. Like, I kind of kind of like drama stuff, sir. Who's your celebrity crush? Alex Morgan, she's really, she's gorgeous. And I saw her, I think like a couple years ago in the soccer game, whenever, I don't know who they was going against, but I saw her, I was like, man, she, she's gorgeous. So yeah, why her, sir? Who's your favorite athlete? Oh, that's easy, Russell Westbrook. So I just, I just love his energy, how he brings into like the basketball game. And outside of that, his just, his clothing style, it's just different. And I, I really like that about him, man. How I dress is, kind of, you know, how he dresses. So I, I really like that, sir. What's your favorite coach, all-time Coach Simon saying that he says a lot that you guys kind of like to have a lot of fun with? I kind of not want to say, but that <laughs> BS word, and he gets mad, and he pokes his lips out. And it's so funny because just seeing him, you know, get mad just really shows that he cares and stuff, sir, and especially with our defense. He cares about the defense a lot and want us just to be, you know, just want us to be great. And having a coach like that is, you know, is, truly such a blessing sir because you know a lot of coaches really don't they care about the team but not really as much as the kids and knowing that he cared about us you know as uh, kids and knowing that we can go talk to him about anything you know it's such an amazing blessing he is such an amazing man outside of being a coach sir. Well, we'll have highlights from this game here at Conco coming up tonight at 10 and 11, plus a look at what's going down in the Division I ranks this weekend. Stick around. Travis has one final look at the forecast when we return. Health Matters on WVVA is brought to you by Clinch Valley Health, making communities healthier. I'm Karen Crutch Barnett with ERA Advantage Realty. I thank you, the viewers, for voting me WVVA Viewers' Choice Best Real Estate Agent for 2017. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home, call me. I will prove to you why I should be your choice. Cooler temps and falling leaves mean hotter deals at Ramey Tazewell. Check out this 4x4 Crew Cab Ram. Say $14,000, now only $36,639. Stop in for the Jeep Celebration event. Check out this Jeep Renegade for only $18,774. Or how about this new Jeep Cherokee 4x4? Save $8,300, now only $31,739. With nearly 400 cars, trucks, and SUVs on the lot, come see how Ramey Tazewell does your deal your way. Hi, my name is Reggie Henry. The workers' compensation system has changed a lot over the years. 
When I first started representing injured workers more than 25 years ago, workers' compensation was much simpler. Now, these are just some of the laws and rules that you'll need to know. It's more important now than ever that you have an experienced workers' compensation attorney help you with your case. If you're hurt on the job, call me. At Southern West Virginia Oral Surgeons, we love the sound of our patients eating the foods they want. And watching our patients try on their new smile is simply beautiful. Our patients' lives are changed with dental implants. If you'd like to learn more about dental implants, log on to drgsmilesurgery.com. For over 17 years, the community has trusted the doctors at Southern West Virginia Oral Surgeons. Let us make your smile work for you. I'm Karen Critch Barnett with ERA Advantage Realty. I thank you, the viewers, for voting me WBVA Viewer's Choice Best Real Estate Agent for 2017. If you're in the market to buy or sell a home, call me. I will prove to you why I should be your... Breaking news as we come on the air tonight, reports of a new...